What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Today was extremely slow for tech news. Today was the day 15 years ago when Apple announced their very first iPhone. Google's got some issues going on right now with potentially having to hold back and not release any more Pixel devices because they have an issue with another company. But oh, it's not that exciting, at least I feel like for you guys. With that said, I'm gonna give you a, a really cool tip and trick. This is for not only people that have Galaxy phones, but basically anyone that has an Android device. And I believe it's only if you're running Android 12. And I'm gonna show you, it's very, very easy. And it's gonna ha help the installation process speed of your apps and be much, much faster. And then we have some questions for you guys after that. So with that said, let's jump into today's video and this is what you're gonna do. So first thing you're gonna do, first comes first, is open up the Google Play Store. Once you have the Google Play Store open, hit the uh, your picture in the top right. And then after that, you're gonna go down until you see settings. So tap on settings. And then from here, you're looking for uh, general, so tap general. And then you're gonna see it right here, app install optimization. It says send data to Google about which parts of an app you use, making apps faster to install, open, and run for everyone on play. Now, if you have that turned on, that's gonna slow down the process of installing apps. So turn that off, hit your home button, and then the next time you download and install an app on your phone, it's gonna be that much faster for you. So turn that off. If you've been having issues where apps are taking longer to maybe quote unquote download slash install, that's gonna make that whole process feel faster and better overall. So there you go. Your question of the day is, what's the most annoying thing about having an Android phone? Put that in the comments down below. I think for me, it's it, it, I don't really find too many annoyances with Android, but I would love to have a universal messaging system akin to iMessage that was cross-platform. Like, just come out with that. I know we have texting and we have RCS, but it's still not perfect. Like, just come up with something that's similar to iMessage and as easy as iMessage. Do it. Google, do it. And I think that's what they should do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that thing. LeCouc Patel says, why does the Z Fold 2 not get the Google Feed option with One UI 4 update alongside Samsung Free? Ask Samsung, unless they have some deal worked out with Google. But from what I remember, I think it doesn't have it. So super annoying, super stupid. Who knows why? I'd have to, I assume it's some kind of deal that Samsung and Google have going on that it's not meeting with that phone. If it's not that, then it's Samsung just being greedy and making, making you give have a reason to upgrade to the Z Fold 3 because the Z Fold 3 does have that option. Goon Squad says, how's your battery life now in the Z Fold 3 with Android 12? Still crappy. I would say if I had, I haven't paid too much attention to it in terms of like really eyeing in on it, but it seems maybe a tad better than the beta version of Android 12, but barely anything. I would still say bad. Shajil Sazad said, do you think that there might be fast charging power bank, like a 25 watt fast charging with 40,000 milliamp self and will cost nothing more than 149. From Samsung, no. From somebody else, maybe, but I highly doubt it. Scandalous Bubo says, will S22 Ultra have an SD card slot? No, it's not rumored to have one. None of the versions of the S22 are rumored to have S card, uh, SD card slot. So flagship phones don't, I, I don't think that's ever gonna come back for Samsung to have the SD card. So I wouldn't even think about it as an option. New York's finest says, how accurate are leakers about the S22 Ultra? Has there been any times when a leaker leaks something and Samsung announced something completely different? What do you think Samsung will say? Um, I think we're pretty spot on probably with the S22 Ultra. There'd be some things that people either didn't know or something was a little bit different. Um, but in terms of being completely wrong about leaks in the past, that it has happened. When and what's the specific instance? I can't remember, but I feel like there has been. I just can't remember. And there you guys go. That is your questions for today. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. And we'll see you down the road. Peace.